Hey, que paso, amigos? How y'all doing? Como esta? It's Tuesday, baby. It's Tuesday. I'm sorry I missed Monday. Uh, Monday and Tuesday is one of them days where you go stand in an hour-long line just to get a little number that takes two hours to get called. So, you know, it's just it's tedious and it makes you... Uh, Makes you wore out, and that's that's where I've been for the last two days. But as the old show goes, uh, the show must go on, baby. Donnie still goes on. I got to get my ass out here because well, we got shit to talk about, and we got a something coming up tonight, baby. State of the Union address tonight. Uh oh, I'm getting carried away here. I got mail, baby. Uh, I got mail from Chris Burgesson. Chris is the one that sent me a tie-dyed T-shirt. And uh, she uh, gave me some washing instructions for one thing and said the blue looked good on me. And, and then she informed me that Chris is a girl, is a woman. And, uh, and I, because it only had come Chris, I had taken a 50-50 chance and said, well, it might be a guy. And evidently I missed. So, Chris, thank you, madam. I appreciate it very much. And uh, you put a nice donation in there for us. I appreciate that. Went right in the gas tank. Donna Bonacosi, guess what showed up in the mail? Donna mailed this card uh, well over 10, 11 days ago. And uh, it did get called out, so she was wondering what happened to it. It finally showed up in the mail. It's a beautiful little card. She also included a nice little donation. And it had uh, a little birthday poem. May the beer be cold and also you're old. So it's a happy birthday card. And she's right. I am getting older, baby. And uh, so, yeah, I appreciate that, Donna. I also got a card from Fritz the Cat, who is uh, 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 Mousy Clark. That's her, uh, her, her, her bow. I don't want to make a mistake here. I don't know the relationship there. I just know they're together. It's Fritz the Cat and Mousy the Mousy Clark and Fritz the Cat. Fritz sent me a nice card. It's, it's. Mama says she gets to keep this one because the other one I have is right there, and I keep it right in front of me. Mousy is the one that gave us to the polls, ye guardians of liberty, and I have the print of this, and, and it's upstairs, and it's I'm so proud of it. Mama says she gets to keep this one in her little book up there, so that's going into Mama's. Fritz says that uh, better or work would be better here in Texas, and maybe he ought to work on working uh, to get Texas blue. He's fixing to come out with some kind of thing i don't know because i know he's going to be talking to oprah so you know if it's oprah you don't know what's going to happen if he runs for senate here in texas i will support the hell out of him and if he runs for anything else well he's up there in the pack and i'm going to hear people i want to hear everybody better work set me on fire every time he spoke i came away inspired so yeah uh I, i'm i'm all in on better work but uh he's got a, he's got a full pack there and and I've told people, you know, he's either going to run or going to end up somebody's vice president pick because the man knows his stuff. Anyway, Fritz, good advice, buddy. I have no control over it. I just get lucky enough to talk to him every once in a while. And uh, But I'm, I'm like everybody else. I'm waiting to see what uh, what Beto's going to do because the pack is getting full, baby. There's, a, I don't know, eight, nine out there, I think. Maybe I haven't stopped to count lately, lately and, and unless somebody else threw their... Thomas Morgan, baby. I'm going to have such a collection of Thomas Morgan, and I am so proud of that. Who Flung Dung? That's the name of this one. And guess who that is? You bet your ass that's a red tie under there and all that hair. You you can't. That, that is a, and he put a donation that said, top off the tank and keep the wheels of justice rolling. John, I'm, I'm, I'm glad you enjoy my work. I do. I do indeed, Thomas. Uh. And then he included the other one, and that's uh, Donnie the Dictator, uh, Russians Humpty Dumpty. That's the title of that one. And and then uh, this one that doesn't have a title. Uh, I'm trying to figure out who the who, that's Donnie. I'm trying to figure out who the other two are, and and don't tell me Thomas because me and Mama like to guess uh, because your artwork is so distinctive. Anyway. I am so proud of your artwork, buddy, and yes, I, 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 I keep them dear, and uh, so yeah, Thomas, you have a unique look, and uh, you know, it, it's art, baby, it's art, 
and I love art. Marcy, uh, Mousy Clark's artwork of To the Poles, you guardians there. That is so beautiful in its form, in that art form. But there are many forms of art, and I like a whole lot of them. Who doesn't? Who didn't come from the 60s, baby? We were all born. Anyway, that's my mail. I'm happy to get it, and it lightens my heart. Anyway, and I need that, baby. I'm wore out. I ain't going to lie to nobody. I'm tired. And uh, and I ain't done yet. It's uh, it's still a long road to hold. But I was just talking to Sparky there on uh, on the uh, Discord channel that uh, this whole family is full of people that has their problems and and and, and we we have to deal with them every day of our life if we want to make it to the next day. And whew, I do because I have shit to say. Anyway, what's going on? Well. A lot of shit. Now, mind you, I haven't been able to stick my nose in the in the TV or in the in the iPad too much. But there are stories that intrigue me. One is the uh, federal prosecutors have subpoenaed the Trump inauguration committee. Well, well, well. Oh, Donnie, trying to make a buck. Go figure. You think? Yeah. Anyway, from the look of the subpoena, it looks like it's uh, defrauding the government, wire fraud. And money laundering. You reckon any Russians chipped in a, a few dollars to help there with Donnie's uh, inauguration there? Hell, he, he spent more on his balls than 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 or, or 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 Obama did, and Obama's balls were bigger. Well, they were. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Obama's balls were bigger. Donnie's balls were small and and, and very low in number, but uh, they sure got a whole lot of money for it. So the Federal prosecutors kind of wondering where all that money goes. And I have a little note up here before I forget it. I want to call out the guy with the mail. The guy with the mail. The guy that brings me all my mail. His name is Bear. He is my mailman. The guy that delivers mail to our post office. And Bear has done me a great favor because if there is no mail in my mailbox, Bear now texts me no mail. You got no mail. That saves me a 20-something mile trip into town to go look in that mailbox. So, Bear, I appreciate it. Uh, he is a blue dot. He watches our show. I met his lovely wife, and uh, it just it, I, I'm really, I really appreciate that, Bear. I wanted to get that out because I had a note right there to remind me because he's been doing it, and I, had a, uh, I wanted to call him out for it. Anyway, Bear, appreciate it, buddy. Uh, keep it up because that's a long row in there. Anyway, what else is going on? Well, Jared Kushner is meeting with contractors. Hmm. Where'd they get that money? Where'd they get that money? Where'd they... I'm looking... My, my don Jenny, my donkey, is tied up right outside. I got home today, and she was limping, and I got to find out why she's limping. She's tied to a tree right outside my door. Hi, Jenny. God, I got to watch. I got to see what's wrong with her leg. Anyway, where was I? Oh, yeah. Jared Kushner was meeting with contractors to build the wall, of course. Where are they getting that money from? Well, Donnie said they had money laying around. We're building the wall. That's what Donnie said. Ain't no wall being built. He's lying through his teeth. He's always lying through his teeth. But now I guess he's told Kushner, run out there and meet with some of our, you know, contract, our, our buddy, I mean, our contractors. Yeah. What kind of deal is Kushner working? I don't know, but I don't trust that man in his business dealings. He ain't doing too good in his own damn business, and he needs money. You know, one by one, they're selling our country. Yeah, I'll make a deal with you. What can you do for me? That's what it is, baby. Maybe it's always been like that, but this is out in the open, and it's just disgusting. Anyway, where the hell is Congress on this shit? Congress has the purse strings, baby. Congress is the one that controls the money for any funding for anything. So where the hell is Donnie? pulling money out of his ass to go build a wall. Oh, we're building large sections. No, you're not. You're repairing sections. That's what you're doing. And then tries to sell it to his little minions. Says, Look over here. We're, we're building the wall. He ain't getting no damn wall. Lindsey Graham, though, he says that this, Lindsey Graham, you know, Mr. Swinger, he goes this way and then he goes that way. First he's with Donnie, then he's without Donnie. There he loves him and then he's pissed off. It's you don't know unless Lindsay gets the vapors and, and he can't decide, so he just has to pick a side real quick. Anyway, he's saying that the GOP might be going to war 
within itself over this wall. Because you're going to have so many Republicans that are getting about fed up with his lying shit, his dishonest shit, his, his, his integrity is down the toilet. You're making the, the Republican Party look like nothing but a family of thieves. And some of them Republicans are getting about tired of it. They're, they're, they're trying to break that rank. So is there going to be a war within the GOP? I hope so. And it needs to be a big and bloody one, baby, because y'all need to clear the ranks. Y'all need to get away from that man. If you have any intent to save your party at all, you need to turn your back on this man. Because this man and his little cabinet and his little thieves up there are turning their back on this country. I saw a headline. I didn't read it because I don't have time. It said that Trump's, Trump inherited an, a, 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 an economy that was a locomotive, and he's fixing to derail it. That's what the story said. It was a headline, so I don't know. i got to read that story. It's on my list of things to do, and I want to, because I've always said this economy that we're in, this rising economy is still the work of Barack Obama. This, this man that came in here has done nothing but hit the coffers to steal everything that's gotten from that engine that Obama started. They're in there to rob the coffers. Big tax cut for all the wealthy, baby. Get it all out of there before the deficit and the debt go sky high. And then we need another Democrat to come in and try to balance the stupid budget before the next stupid Republican comes in there and raids the coffers again. Because that's what it's been. I'm getting off that. That's what it's been ever since I've seen Reagan. Ever since Reagan with his little trickle-down economics, we're going to give to the rich. Don't worry about it. It's going to trickle down. There's going to be jobs. There's going to be jobs. None of that happened. But every Republican since then has come along with the same sis boom buy, the same bullshit that they have sold down by because there's idiots out there that buy it. There's people out there that buy into it. And what do they got? They got stock in it, I guess. But because it's not the working man down here, because his wages ain't gone nowhere. His economy, whether the economy goes up or down, are pretty well stagnant all the time. When, he, when it's a little bit better, oh my goodness, you got enough to go to the grocery store without worrying about how much you got to spend. Isn't that a luxury? But Jared Kushner's meeting with him, so we'll find out what all that comes out. Tonight's little speech is really going to be interesting. There's going to be some particular guests at tonight's uh, State of the Union. He's not addressing the same house he did last time. This is a different house, baby. This is Nancy's house he's talking. And she's going to be sitting down right behind him. You don't think I'm going to enjoy that shit? You bet your butt I'm going to. Because that, it's my job nowadays. I have to do that to find out what the idiot's going to say. Anyway, I keep having this thing, dream that she's right behind him, and he starts blubbering about crap, and she's hitting the gavel saying, get this idiot out of here. It's what I'd like to see. But one of the guests tonight, right up there where he can be seen, is Blake Drummond. Blake Drummond is a lieutenant commander in the United States Navy. He has been through 11 deployments and that number right there has always bothered me because that's the number of times we are asking these people to go back and do the same thing they did before he's going to be there tonight he's also a transgender so when Donnie the little the little bone spur colonel that he is the little the little draft dodging little idiot that he is who has banned transgender, and the Supreme Court has now said, well, you can uphold that until the lower court comes up with a challenge because Donnie's trying to play nice to the evangelicals. It has nothing to do with the military. He didn't consult the military. He doesn't consult the military for crap. And in point, General Joseph Botel, of U.S. Central Command, he is the guy that's in charge of everything, came out, and the story says that uh, Donnie there did not consult with General Votel. And uh, when Donnie tweeted out Donnie's words were, we have defeated ISIS in Syria, my only re reason for being there during the Trump presidency. Oh, he loved that shit. During the Trump, he likes to say that shit. But General Votel said, nope, Donnie didn't come around and ask us shit. No, because we would have told him ISIS is not defeated. You're blowing smoke up people's ass. 
So when he asks Lieutenant Commander Blake Dremen to go 12 times, you don't know if, if, if how Donnie's going to run this world. Is he doing it according to the evangelicals? We know he does not ask the generals. He knows more than the generals. Remind you of that shit, what we have in our house. That's what the result is. He's, he, he, is, he has done everything in his... You know, there's over 5,000 Russian long-range missiles now in Venezuela. Yep, 5,000. Long-range missiles in Venezuela. Doing a bang-up job there, Donnie. What are you setting us up for, buddy? It's a question that should be asked. Anyway... That's about all I got, baby. I'm about out of wind. I'm tired. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go upstairs and try to relax. I do not have to go pick up Rose this evening because Rose is off today and tomorrow, and I think her car is going to be fixed tomorrow. Woo, praise the Lord, because that doesn't, it's a Volkswagen, baby. It runs on sniffs of gas, I guess. I don't know. It gets great gas mileage. Anyway, it'll be a lot easier. Uh, let me see. I hit the button just so in case anybody's listening on the Discord. I hit the button. We want to thank all our Patreon members because they are very important to us, especially now it has become a major impact in our life. Those that donate a dollar or more a month, whatever they could afford, and, and, and those that, that donate through PayPal, y'all y'all have meant so much to us and, and are so important to us. And, and, and Travis has got new things in the work because I said, we got to do something. And we are. We have this thing. I'm thinking, well, I don't want to tell you the name yet because I, I like it. I want to spring it on at the right time. I'm going to have a setup through a, through a, a, a sketcher, anyway, a program that is going to allow me to record, and, uh, and I'll be able to call people on Skype. It's the same thing I do when I'm on shows, the Bob Kincaid show, the Tim Cormall show. That's how I do it. So it's going to be similar to that. I don't know about getting it out there on the, uh, uh, the, uh, podcast circuit uh, i'm going to keep it up going on youtube and on uh facebook and it'll look like a podcast because we got to figure out how to do that because of course it costs money to get that shit out there of course it does everything costs money anyway the help that y'all provide every month is so important to us but i'm looking forward to this because it's gonna i've already talking to a couple of our blue dot family members who are going to be just uh, that's what it'll be i'll be right here i'll have a set of headphones on and we'll hit the button and we're going to talk to some of our Blue Dot family members and, 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 and what their concerns on it and what their life is, what they do and all that kind of shit. It's just a conversation, baby. But that conversation is so important to keep going. And, and I'm so proud of our Blue Dot family that does exactly that because that's the thing. The message has to keep going, baby, because more and more is going to start happening every day. We have to pay attention because we have to convince those Republicans who have strung from the path of righteousness back onto the glowing light and get back into the center and get away from that ugly hateness that's in the White House right now. Anyway, like, share, and subscribe. John Bertavo of Blue Dot in Texas on uh, YouTube. John Bertavo on Facebook. John Bertavo Speaks, Blue Dot Family. Go by, join the family. It, it gets more important every day, and that is a very good source to get information and to have great conversations over there. So Candy Guidry is doing a bang-up job. Joe Riddle is doing great on his stuff. Leo Sahaki stepped up. Richard Anderson's out there, and I know Randy Kerbin and Andy Paguda are all out there using their voices. Give them an ear when you can, baby, because it's so important to keep the conversation going. And on that note, I'm about out of breath, so I'm going to say goodnight, and I'll see y'all tomorrow, baby. It's Wednesday. It's hump day. Hump day. Hump day. Mike, 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 Mike. What day is it, Mike? Y'all take care, baby, and we'll see y'all tomorrow. Bye.